Bananas took America by storm in the 1880s, with recipes appearing shortly thereafter in every major cookbook across the country. With its irresistible combination of a graham cracker crust layered with vanilla custard filling and thinly sliced bananas, banana cream pie has been a Southern favorite ever since. And I'll show you how to make what I think is just one of the best banana cream pies ever. One vanilla bean split down the middle and scraped. And the whole bean will go in, including all these delicious vanilla bean seeds. So that goes into a saucepan with the bean. Don't lose any of those little vanilla bean seeds. Two cups of heavy cream and one and a half cups of whole milk. Add one half cup of sugar. Turn your heat to high and stir with a whisk until the mixture comes to a boil and the sugar's all dissolved. So this is the beginning of that lovely vanilla custard. Now in another bowl, prepare your eggs. There are three egg yolks and one large egg. Whisk the egg yolks with a half a cup of cornstarch. And one cup of sugar. So this is a very thick mixture, and this is what we're going to temper with the hot milk and cream. And it's the eggs and the cornstarch that thicken the custard. So there. So now this is really steaming hot. And with one hand and a ladle, pour some of this hot milk and cream into your egg yolks and cornstarch and sugar mixture. What you're doing is warming the egg yolks so that they won't curdle when introduced to a stronger heat. And I think now is the time to Pour this back into the pan. Reduce the heat because you don't really want to scald this cream. Just keep stirring until the whole mixture starts to thicken. This is the custard that will go in the beautifully prepared pre-baked pie crust. So now this is getting to be just the right consistency. And it is the right consistency when a finger drawn through like that, the line stays open. That is the right consistency. So now, pass this whole pot of custard through a sieve. So bananas became popular due to improved transportation and savvy, aggressive marketers. Someone realized that bananas could be easily shipped in an unripe state and ripened in the marketplace. So you see, this has passed through the sieve very nicely. It is a rich, yellow, flavorful vanilla custard. And I suggest covering it with a piece of plastic wrap to prevent a skin from forming. Let it cool for about four hours in the refrigerator. Now here's our crust. It's made from 10 graham crackers, a quarter of a cup of sugar, and four tablespoons of melted butter, then pressed into a nine inch glass pie dish pre-baked at 350 degrees until browned about 25 minutes. Now, before you fill it, make sure it is cooled. Make sure your custard is icy cold too, right out of the refrigerator. Oh, by the way, I was surprised to learn that, you know, human beings open bananas from the stem end. It's a little hard to open there. Monkeys open their bananas from the bottom. Very easy to peel from the bottom. And I'm sure those monkeys are just thinking, what do they know? But anyway, it does peel very easily from the bottom. And it does leave you a nice little handle down at the stem end, whichever way you choose. So make sure there are no strings attached and no fibers left. And you'll need anywhere from six to seven bananas. And bananas should be sliced quarter inch thick on the diagonal. And these little ends are a little unsightly, so save those for eating. You can eat them while you're 
making your banana cream pie. And any blemishes like that, well, you don't want to have a dark spot, so I would suggest cutting off any blemishes. Bananas turn brown really fast once they are fully ripened. So use them up. So there we have a nice pile of bananas. And to assemble the pie, spread this custard out in the bottom of your pie crust and shingle bananas all the way around. And just continue shingling, shingling all the way around until you have one complete layer and add custard. So you have custard, banana, custard, banana, custard. So now cover your pie with plastic wrap and refrigerate. And now for the last little thing, I like it plain with whipped cream on top. And piping the whipped cream makes it real pretty. You can do squiggles all over it and more squiggles or stars, whatever you feel like doing. But it looks so pretty and so festive. What a great looking pie. My recommendation, make two of these pies because everyone you serve will be asking for seconds. <laughs>